she made him buy a luxury camper $40,000 so she can visit him at work. People who are married to Karens, how is it like? My mom is a Karen. She thinks the world is supposed to cater to her, serve her and everyone else is wrong. Once we went to Carl's Jr. She ordered four burgers, for the four of us. She pulls one out of the bag while the guy is getting our drinks and hides it. She complains that he forgot a burger. She pulls them out one by one and counts it in front of him. It's obviously missing because she hid it and he's swearing up and down he put them all in the bag. I'm stunned speechless and it happened so fast. She got a free burger, and laughed as we drive off. I'm just staring at her and she opens it up to eat it on the drive home. And she ate her actual burger like the fifth one never existed. I can't even explain how she is when she's in the hospital. She treats it like a luxury stay in a hotel. Coworker of mine is married to a Karen. He tells us stories multiple days a week how she drives to four different grocery stores and harasses the employees because their stock is low on the specific item she wants. Not married. Four years of a toxic relationship though. I broke up with her on Monday, again. We're kind of ducked financially because of this lockdown so we are just feeling things out for a month before we decide for sure. This cycle is on repeat. I constantly have to cut her off and speak over her because of the way she treats people. Waiters, sales assistants, gym staff, neighbors, landlords, randoms we meet in bars etc. Note, we were both waiters at the beginning of our relationship so she has worked in the industry, but still lacks empathy. She blames the waiter if something is out of stock etc. My second major issue. We are both English second language teachers. She teaches kindergarten, while I teach high school. Now that we are working from home, I hear how she speaks to her students and it's really opened up another aspect of her personality that I don't like. She will berate a student for not understanding instead of evaluating her ability to explain. Being an A. Hole on three year olds in their second language doesn't fly with me. A lot of her behavior stems from a self-defense mechanism due to insecurity, but that's not an excuse. She doesn't realize how mean she is to people, including myself. I'm a people pleaser that would rather sacrifice my own comfort than someone else's. She expects me to be an a-hole to people because I'm a biggish guy with tattoos, I don't exactly look soft. It's toxic as hell. P.S. The lovemaking is so good it rivals most prawn, easily. Not married but dated a male Karen for 8 years. He was a semi-successful business owner who was twice my age and I was young and dumb for a lack of a better word. The gist of our relationship was him trying to take over every part of my life. For instance, he would order for me at restaurants and would dissuade me if I wanted to try something new. If I had a problem with something it would be brushed off but if he had a problem then he had to talk to a manager. Not knowing any better I just thought he was very particular and even started copying some of his tendencies like speaking up when I felt I wasn't getting the right service when I was out on my own. I realized who he was when we were flying back from Vegas and our luggage was heavier than when we flew in. Obviously we'd bought extra things which made up for the weight difference so as he demanded to know an explanation from the check-in clerk as to why if it was the same luggage would it somehow weigh more, I innocently answered that it must have been the extra shoes and clothes. He was quiet and paid up. Later he told me to not to do that again as he knew the reason why the luggage was heavier, he was just trying to get away with not paying. At that moment a bulb went off in my head. This man who'd spent $1,500 on a stripper for his friend was making an already stressful job more stressful for the clerk in order to avoid paying $60. We broke up soon after and I checked myself on the care and tendencies he'd rubbed off on me. Obligatory not married to a Karen. However, my mother is a Karen and lord it's not easy. I don't even know how many times I've had to correct her on the way she speaks to servers. Doesn't listen, the smallest inconvenience, she wants to talk to someone higher up. She overreacts to every inconvenience and is the type to try and bargain at a retail store apparently the concept of set price does not apply to her. Can't stand it. I'm glad I no longer live with my parents. I love my mother I do and she has great qualities but she is the most Karen a Karen can be. Best friend married a Karen. This woman is a whole different level of Karen. He makes a large six digit salary but has to work cycle shift away from home. She has the option to move from home so they can live as a family but refuses because she has what she calls a career. She sells scents and works a clerk job at an HR office. They have two kids, she can't handle them. She makes him drive home from work every day so she can work out for 30 minutes in the evening. It's a 7 hours commute. He had to buy another vehicle because he couldn't take the company vehicle back and forth. So expensive and dangerous. There are too many things, here are some. When she's working at home, 
he has to leave the house with the kids and can't come back until she says it's okay. Insane spending habits on unnecessary stuff, Amazon, Sensi and other products. Any negative things that happens in her life is his fault and he has to fix it immediately no matter the cost. She texts and calls him every 10 minutes at work to complain about him being away from home and how the kids drive her crazy. She made him buy a luxury camper $40,000 so she can visit him at work. She puts the kids in daycare even though it costs them more than she financially makes. Wants more kids. Wants huge renovations done but refuses to watch the kids while he does them. He has to watch them while working, nothing gets done quick and that gives her anxiety and stress. Makes him 10 job fairs in hopes that he'll find a job making just as much money. It won't happen but he does it anyway to please the demands. It frustrates me because my time with him has literally become therapy sessions where he vents for hours. It's brutal and I hate that he tolerates it. My mom is a bit of a Karen, and we're pretty much in no contact now so that should tell you everything you need to know. Whenever we'd go out to eat it's always too cold, they don't have the brand of sparkling water she likes, they've put ice in her drink when she didn't want it. She always has to make some kind of modification to her order etc the list goes on. It got to the point where if we were out shopping and she said she needed to return something I'd just go somewhere else because I couldn't stand watching her be rude and argue with the staff. My parents are divorced and I live with my dad now instead. Part of the reason I barely see my mum is because I'd have to meet her in public, go for a coffee or something, and I just can't deal with the way she behaves in these places so I don't go. Engaged to one, she was raised as a princess by her military raised father. However, She's super down to earth but god forbid you work in the service industry and mess something up. She worked at IHOP during college so it humbled her compared to her family. She just writes reviews now good or bad and emails corporate to complain. If something is wrong with my food, she refuses me to sit there and eat it. Which I hate but I have gotten her better about it I believe. So maybe she is just a recovering Karen at this point. I'm not married to a Karen but someone in my family decided to make a Karen family and let me just say it is freaking hell. I do not go to any social event if said Karen will be there keeps the peace in my family to be honest, nor do I go alone with Karen. She is a nightmare to everyone in her path, from car guards to cashiers, even her friends. No one can be better than her or smarter than her and she's just freaking exhausting man. The worst part is her kids are becoming just like her. Not married to one but my mom is absolutely one. I spend most of my time with her in public apologizing to people after she's walked away. The one and only time it comes in handy is when I've bought cars and had her come in during the price negotiation phase, she's knocked off thousands purely due to how unpleasant she is and how much. People want her to just get the hell out of the door. My sister is a Karen. Everyone feels so sorry for her husband. Everything is his fault. He is treated like a slave. She only addresses him by yelling. She constantly insults him. We have no idea why he hasn't divorced her or flipped out and attacked her. We have all told her to cool it and her response is that he's just so stupid. I could go on and on but my sister really is a horrible person. Not married to a Karen, but married someone with a Karen for a sister. Sister-in-law is the freaking worst. I hate more than anything going out to dinner with her, listening to her order food and talk to the servers. Holidays are also terrible. She sends out long lists of expected gifts list. She celebrates every holiday and birthday specifically for presents even when it's not appropriate. Funny thing is one time I was away from the dinner table when the bill came and sister-in-law waited for me to return to pay the bill by actually handing it to me. She didn't give it to her sibling or pay her half, but expressly handed it to me to pay. By the way, her husband is an idiot and they are a match made in heaven. I know a couple with a Karen. She blamed him for everything. The husband was, in our opinion, something of a saint. Once she broke a glass in the kitchen, came and sat back down at the table, and said that was your fault. We all just stared at her. She looked sheepish and said I knew that one probably wouldn't work. They're divorced, now. I guess even saintliness has its limits. My mom's a Karen. She is self-aware she is a Karen my siblings and I sent her memes about it. When my stepdad divorced her last summer we were all amazed he lasted 17 years to be honest. None of us like going out with her it's terrible and my husband just straight up tells her no you aren't talking to the manager when we go in a place. I'll tell you guys a story my step told us, they are farmers and own a small beef and bee farm. They have a store they go to for bee supplies. The owner called my stepdad and asked him to please be the one to pick up their stuff because his staff was tired of dealing with my mom. He is the only one who went to the store for the next 5 years. 
Not married to one, but my aunt is. My uncle is this soft-spoken giant. He never stands up to her in any way. Except once. At their daughter's wedding, she was about to interrupt the ceremony to close a window because she was chilly. Everyone sitting close could hear her whisper I'm going to do it, but I don't want to be an a-hole. My uncle, in a calm quiet tone says quickly why I stop now? Almost as if his filter just missed this one. I swear I could hear my dad snore two rows back trying to hold in laughter. Karen was not happy, thanks for listening to Ask Credit. Want to hear about the most horrific pictures crime investigators have taken? Click the left video. If you wanted to hear an interview with a convicted pedophile click the video on the right. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell or I will speak to your manager.